For this first look, I'm just going to take my upper crown of the half and I'm just going to hold it back real quick while I put the other half of my hair in a ponytail. Obviously, I'm struggling a bit and I couldn't find my hair ties, so bear with me. So as I put my hair in back in a ponytail, I just want to make sure that it is equal to the top part. Now that I have my hair back in a ponytail, I want to take the first half of my hair on the left side of my, or my right side of my head on your side, and I just want to kind of Dutch braid it back. Now, if you have thicker hair like me, just make sure you brush out your ends so it doesn't get tangled. Obviously, I didn't do that before, which was a really, really bad mistake, and I got my ends very tangled as you see there. When you're doing these braids, just a reminder, make sure they are tight because sometimes they will come loose during the day, especially with heat and stuff. When you are getting to the end, you want to go where the crown is and you want to just want to take a rubber band or a hair tie, I suggest a rubber band, and you just want to rubber band it back. I like to tighten mine just a little bit so the braid is a little bit more tightened. And then I just like to brush out the ends of my hair because my hair is a little knotty today and it is thick, so. And I just do the same on the other side. As I finish the other braid, I like to take the half, the other half of my hair out of the ponytail and just let it all down. And then there's the first look. This look is great for summer or just going out on a sundress or on the beach or anywhere. This next look is based off the first look and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of my hair and I'm just going to twirl it like so and twirl it into like a little bun and then I'm just going to bobby pin it back. I like to use the bigger bobby pins just because my hair is thicker. It likes to hold so I don't have like 7 million bobby pins in my hair. And I'm just going to do the same to the other side. Now if you'd like to use more bobby pins, you are more welcome to just to kind of keep it safe. For the third look, this is just kind of like my on the go, in a rush look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the half of my hair crown and I'm just going to twirl it, put it in a little bun, and then bobby pin it back. This is great if you're just on the go to go to a meeting or anywhere else. This fourth look is also a little bit on the go. I love to do this when I was in school because it was very, very easy, especially in the morning when I didn't feel like doing anything and I was up at like five in the morning. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half my hair and I'm going to kind of snooky it, as people like to say. And then I'm just going to put the other half of my hair in a high ponytail. Make sure not, to not pull the little bump in the front and I'm just going to messy bun it. And I like to pull out a little extra and then there's the final look. Now this last look, I was very requested into my last Instagram post. I just like to twirl my hair and I like to put it into little buns on top of my head. It is very, very easy. I actually wore this to a fashion show of a great friend. Um, the Triumphant Experience, if you guys look it up, you guys will see it. He has amazing clothes and he's a wonderful designer. He's a personal designer. And then I just like to do that on the same side, like so. I also like to twirl my buns a little tighter just so it can stay all day. And if you like to put some hairspray, obviously I didn't like to use hairspray today, but it does keep it in a better place. Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Yes, this is my first hair tutorial video because I've been kind of been asking, well people have been asking me because I post a lot of pictures of my hair on Instagram and everybody's like, oh, how do you do that? How do you do this? And so I decided to make this video in order to answer your questions. So yeah, there's going to be a lot coming up. Um, a lot more hair tutorials and maybe makeup tutorials as well. I'm still on the midst of that. I don't know about makeup because I'm not an expert, but hair I will definitely love to do. Just stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. If you'd like to follow my Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook or anything like that, the links will be down below. See ya!